welcome back. Today, our theme is all about loving people who we might not always think are lovable. And today, we have a special story for you. It comes right out of the Bible. And it comes from the book of Luke, chapter 10. And it's called The Good Samaritan. I hope you enjoy this story. One day, a Jewish man was traveling on a trip from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> Oh, the bandits stripped him of his clothes and took his money. They beat him up and left him lying on the side of the road. Oh no. What's gonna happen next? Will anybody help him? Let's listen and find out. By chance, a Jewish priest came walking down the road. Oh, but when he saw him, he just looked at him and passed by the other side. Oh no. Then a Levite walked over and looked at him lying on the ground. But he also just passed by on the other side. Won't anybody help him? Finally, a yes. despised Samaritan came along. And when he saw the man, he felt deep pity. Kneeling beside him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with medicine and bandaged him up. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to the inn where he took care of him. The next day, he gave the innkeeper, he gave the innkeeper some money to take care of the man. He said, if it costs me more money, I'll pay the difference the next time I'm here. Yeah. Wow, so my friends, which one, which one was the kind neighbor to the man? Let's think about this for a second. Hmm, which one was the kind neighbor to the Samaritan? Was it the priest? He passed right by. It was not the priest. Hmm. Was it the Levite? No, he also passed right on by. Was it the Samaritan? It was the Samaritan. Samaritan people and Jewish people did not get along very well, but the Samaritan person was the one who helped. And sometimes that's what loving others looks like. It might not be somebody that we want to take care of or want to help, but that's like being like Jesus is helping the people who we don't think need it the most. Hmm. I want you guys to maybe find somebody in your own house and try to act out this story together. Find a prop, find something to use in your own home that could help you be the bandits, the good Samaritan, the Levite, the priest, and have some of your own fun. And in a little bit, we're going to come back with a song. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. And that's the end. <laughs> pretending to be the Good Samaritan story and act it out. It's a really important story for us to remember that we can love people no matter what. We can let our light shine 
wherever we go. Now what I want you to do is I want you to see if in your house somewhere you can find an instrument. Now my instrument today is a pot and a spoon to stick or uh, like this could be a trumpet. If you have a real instrument like an egg shaker in your house or maybe you want to try to find a salt shaker with the cover on or something that can make noise or I always say if you have nothing else you always have a tum drum right here that you can play right so my friends go and find an instrument go and find an instrument go and find an instrument let's see what you find go and find an instrument go and find an instrument Whatever that you choose, I certainly won't mind. Yeah! And when you have your instrument, I want you to hold them and make some noise in a great, exciting way. Nashua's is very, very loud. And then we are going to get ready to play our music to the song, This Little Light of Mine, and find some family members. Let's go ahead, my friends, and let's find an instrument and sing this song. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Do 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 do. Hey 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 hey. Do 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 do. Hey hey. a friend a phone call or calling a grandma or grandpa you haven't seen for a while 
There's so many things that we can do to let our light shine. Have a great rest of your day, my friends. And remember to let your light shine wherever you go. <laughs> Bye, Bye.